how the equipment has been kept is uh, horrendous and in a really bad state. And given the fact it's cost thousands upon thousands of pounds to actually bring it to Gibraltar, which I might add uh, didn't cost this current government a penny because I, I was the one together with the Disability Society to, br to bring that funding forward by an anonymous donor. So it, 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 it begs the question, what, why was it left to such a deplorable state? And when you mentioned deplorable state, um, what was the condition like on National Day? Uh, basically, all the chairs were broken, given the fact, um, bear in mind there were six or seven chairs. So throughout the summer they've been breaking and instead of actually fixing them, they, they've, le they've let them um, break and uh, it doesn't really matter, we've got more. It got to a stage that like every single chair broke, so, so when I got to National Day, none of the chairs were working and um, basically the, the system wasn't there, so I couldn't enjoy National Day like anyone else. And looking ahead to next summer now, with the summer nearly over, what would you like to see done with disability facilities on the beach? The key, the key to hold this whole thing is maintenance. It is not rocket science. If you don't maintain things, things will break. And bear in mind that these things cost thousands upon thousands of pounds to, uh, to bring it onto, into fruition. When I first started in 2009, that, that I brought it together with the, with the then GSD government, it cost, it cost the, society, the Disability Society and the Anonymous Donor over £60,000 to bring the hoist, to bring the, the mobility chairs. So basically, I know it, it doesn't hurt the government because it didn't spend the money, but at the end of the day, if we want to uh, shout through the rooftops that, that, that we're a community which we care about our most vulnerable, then, then actions speak louder than words. And the Gibraltar Disability Society have recently mentioned the slow progress with disability legislation. Uh, what would you say about that? I think it's disgraceful how they've, how they've played um, catch up on, the, on this issue, given the fact that the, that the legislation has been ready since 2010. And I know that for a fact because I was one of the proponents of said legislation. And I, and I, and I know the only reason they've um, stalled it is because they, 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 they said that it would cost too much money. And I've known that for a very, very long time. The thing is now, and there's a documentary evidence to back that up by the chief minister, but I've known that for years. Now, now it is time either to put up or shut up.